Ah, uh, they're enforcing peace on me. The Commonwealth demands that I white peace the Netherlands. No. Yeah, yeah, everyone coalitioned me. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a very, very interesting start, a nation that I skipped over. We were supposed to play them way earlier as the nation of Mainz. Mainz is a nation located in the HRE, in the central part of the HRE in Germany right here. And we do start off as an elector in the HRE, and we're also an archbishopric, which means we're pretty much a clerical state. We start off with Archbishop Elector Dietrich the first right here, who's a 2-3-3, so not that good. And Mainzian ideas are pretty decent, although they're not that good. We start off with plus 10% national tax and plus one possible advisors. Then we finish off with plus 30% improved relations, which is actually really strong. Then we got plus one yearly prestige, an idea discount, plus 10% morale of armies, a government thingy, monthly autonomy change, fort defense plus 25%, and minus one national rest. So actually, mines and ideas are, well, I was wrong. They are pretty good. But what do we do as mines? Well, there's only one thing we can do as mines today, ladies and gentlemen, and that is, of course, to form the German Empire with its 1871 borders. Why are we doing this with Mainz and not anyone else? Well, I don't know. I just felt like doing it and it seemed about the right time. Also, I wanted to give you something big because we skipped over Mainz. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Jumping in as Mainz and forming the German Empire. So uh, yeah, let's jump in as Mainz and really have some fun. But first, a word from the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and it's available for free on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and on the previous generation consoles. You can play with more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in dynamic PvP battles, and all these vehicles are incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, which makes for a highly immersive combat experience. The vehicles in War Thunder span over 100 years from the 1920s to the present day, all with incredible graphics graphics, sound effects, and music to fully immerse yourself in. This is personally my favorite aspect of the game. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and play War Thunder for free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. And if you're a newer player or haven't played for 6 months, by using my link you can claim a large bonus pack including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles, and much, much more. Available for a limited time only. Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video, now let's jump in as Malacca. Alright, alright, here we are as Mainz, and you know obviously the provinces we're gonna be going for are uh, sorta like this. I think everyone that's watching the video has seen what the German Empire looked like. And of course, as you all know, you do need Admin Tech 20 to form Germany, which is quite a long ways away, so uh, pretty much the challenge today is gonna be to get those borders rather than uh, simply click the German uh, Form German Nation button. So if we get those borders before uh, Admin Tech 20, the challenge is done, and it's a success. However, if we form Germany, but we still don't have the borders, we're gonna have to keep going until we actually get those borders. So uh, yeah, let's get the game started as mines, and uh, we might be dismantling the HRE here. We really do want to minimize aggressive expansion. All right, all right, estate stuff done. I've also rivaled the guys that have rivaled me. Uh, are we making money? We are making a little bit of money right here. I'm still gonna go ahead and hire three advisors. So let's get this manpower guy, uh, deplore guy, that's excellent. And let's get the yearly inflation reduction guy, perfect. Now, like I said, I'm gonna try and dismantle the HRE right here. Uh, uh, let's try and ally all of the electors. Could it be possible? None of them have riled me. So if we ally all of the electors and maybe someone big like France or Poland or something like that, we can probably declare on someone here, no CB them or something like that, or a free city actually, and have Austria come in, which means if we occupy Vienna, we can then dismantle the HRE. All right, uh, let me start looking for allies right here and... Uh, building a spine network on Frankfurt. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the force limit. It's actually seven. So what I'm going to do is this right here. Oops, uh, not three, just two. And uh, yeah, we can turn off our level. No, it's a level one fort. Why did I think we have a level three fort? Whatever. Okay, so we are going to have to be a little patient right here at the start. Austria hasn't allied any elector, which is actually good for us. They have allied Hungary, which might make things difficult, but it's no big deal. And I have allied some electors myself. I do need to get uh, Brandenburg and Trier as well. I will be able to get Brandenburg for sure. Trier, though, it might be a little more difficult. I have to flip them friendly first, and then I have to mess around with the alliances because uh, they've rivaled Koln and uh, they've allied... I don't know, what, whatever it is. So yeah, if not, I'm actually going to have to know CB Trier or something like that. That way Austria is involved too, and they'll drag all of these guys in. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm wondering if I should expand in the meantime, man. Is there anyone easy we can fight right next to us? Oh, as mines here, we do have, you know, some missions. They really aren't uh, too relevant to us. 
Yeah, a later we can form Westphalia though, which I will do for sure. Uh, much better ideas and missions. All right, first war time. In the meantime, I have allied Brandenburg as well. Still can't get Trier. It is going to be pretty tricky. We'll see what we'll do with this. And I think I will be able to ally both France and, uh, well, maybe Poland. But I'll, I'll be able to ally France for sure. Uh, I'm just looking for strong allies now to help me beat up Austria. Yeah, this Trier thing is really tricky. But either way, let's declare a Nassau, man. Uh, no point in waiting around. Well, there's our first war done, and there's Nassau Annex. Perfect. We've grown up it. Just got an event where all the electors' opinion of me increased by 80. It's still not good enough, even though they flipped friendly. What if I unrival Frankfurt? Yeah, rival is someone like Hesse, maybe? Are they are the Hesse? They are. Um, okay, so I swapped out uh, Frankfurt for Würzburg. That did cost me 100 Diplo points. Yes. Yes, we can ally Trier now. Dude, that's sick. Now we just need a big boy to help us versus Austria. Probably gonna have to get France so it's close to them, right? Poland. Yeah, I'm really close with France, though. And there we go, just allied Trier, which means now we're allied to all electors. All we gotta do to dismantle the HRE is control Vienna. Uh, eclastically, sure, I'll take that, I'll take that. Okay, France just flipped friendly towards me, and now this, <laughs> these are the modifiers that I have. There's an alliance with France, excellent, and that's all without even pretty much any Diplorep, man. It's just, wait, actually, Diplorep is pretty good. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind what I just said there, but, uh, okay. So if we want to declare in Frankfurt, the free city, right, France would not help because of favor but if we had favors they would help now all of these guys really don't matter all we gotta do is just bum rush vienna dude and bohemia would help these guys would help yeah brandenburg probably would yeah oh trier allied to the enemy so i would be fighting trier if i fought frankfurt what about rothenburg yeah yeah rothenburg it is tier two governor form time our first tier is a clerical state which is mid monastic order is way better but i don't think i'm gonna be swapping we're gonna do the let's see are there any improved relations thingies here that's not that good commercial mission no nope. mission of protection fort defense would be good i guess we do have fort defense but i'm gonna go external in the meantime might as well dev our capital a little bit to uh help speed up the spawning of the renaissance all right just got 10 favors with france let's check and see on uh, rothenburg right here there's the conquest and uh, oh, Aragon actually wouldn't come in. That's pretty nifty for us. And France would. Excellent. So France, Bohemia, Köln, Trier. It really doesn't even matter if they got more troops than us. All we need from this war is to occupy Vienna. I don't even care about taking Rothenburg or anything like that. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and set uh, Vienna as a province of vital interest. And I think we'll declare here right away, man. So uh, yeah, there's the declaration right there. Conquest, because I'll probably take it anyway. And uh, yeah, let's call in everyone here. That's about enough. All right. Time to dismantle HRE. Oh, now I can call in Brandenburg too. And Saxony? And the planet. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got to Vienna safely. A bunch of us are stacking there. Toulouse and Opole are helping me out. I don't see the Austrian army anywhere. I don't know where they went. Yeah, this... <laughs> Boys, this is looking like it's gonna be pretty easy, man. I can call in the Pope too. Vienna's at 49. And we've won the Siege of Vienna just one year. Perfect. Well, boys, you know what they say. Um, Dismantle HRE. Nice. <laughs> all right then of course with the hre no longer existing some of these outside guys might be vulnerable to big guys but uh i will get there when we get there and we've knocked everyone out i am getting a lot of war reps okay let's go ahead and full annex rothenburg and with that we're done all right now what we really got to do is a uh, spy spy a lot because we don't get any claims from our mission tree dude i think i'm actually gonna open up with espionage here both for the spying and for the aggressive expansion espionage is actually decent for a goal like today so uh yeah but now it doesn't matter who i rival man uh there we go we can do like essay or something like that i definitely need to get rid of a lot of these alliances colm trier the Palatinate, all of these guys Guys. since we're gonna be expanding here first yeah since ae is chill now i'm gonna pounce on hesse immediately with the help of bohemia and brandenburg we do need to get our core back which we start off with i didn't actually know this from uh thuringia here any co-belligerent anyone wordsburg that's these guys right here right yeah i got stack wiped i'm i'm chill like that okay we're done here if i full annex both wordsburg and hesse it, it is a lot of admin points but it's not that much ae now i wonder if i should full annex them uh yeah i will okay done let's rebuild our army and now i'm actually gonna chill a bit uh expand mines sure it'd be super nice if we can get like lorraine here uh before burgundy does because if we can put this border on lock over here we won't have to worry about burgundy or france they can just remain our allies for the entirety of the campaign and uh you know the borders aren't exactly one-to-one -one in you for you guys know but i think uh, based on the look of the maps we don't actually get lorraine it's just like uh, like this right i don't know i don't think we need lorraine i know it's alsace lorraine but looking at the map this like area right here doesn't seem to be in um 
on the maps just like this over here is kind of weird you know you go like this it's not really like that so yeah let me know if i do need lorraine though i know it's alsace lorraine but like i said i don't think exactly we need this lane right here okay i'm gonna fight nuremberg now with this my alliance with saxony will break as well which is excellent and then we can go ahead and fight their subject thuringia and get our core back uh you know what Brandenburg and the Pope are some of the most incompetent allies, man. I'm actually not gonna call them in. <laughs> I'm gonna call in France instead. Well, I think this worked out great. So let's full annex Nuremberg. Actually, actually, no. No, I'm still going way too fast here. Yeah, so I am gonna white piece Saxon, even though I was planning on taking Erfurt right here. So there's a white piece. 50 with a lot of these guys. If I wait till the new year, they won't join the coalition. There's Admin Tech 5, 2. I am gonna open up with Espionage, honestly. Ooh, this came in handy as well. All right, there's the new year. There's the aggressive expansion thingy from there. Uh, yeah, let's full annex them. Okay, but now it's high. Now I'm definitely gonna have to chill for a little bit, at least until we get uh this. Uh, I'm gonna go with education of the people here. And you know, it may look a little anticlimactic for now, but remember, we still have to fight Bohemia to take all of this from them. We still gotta fight Austria to take this right here. Gotta fight Denmark, who has Norway. Gotta fight Poland over here, who uh, is allied to Muscovy and Sweden. So there are definitely boss battles coming up, boys. Let me tell you that. Denmark seems to have uh, lost their subjects, so it's gonna be easier fighting them. Just waiting to get this now, then we'll continue our wars. Okay, so let's go ahead and declare on Trier. Gonna call in Bohemia. Uh, no co-belligerence. Well, these guys have already unconditionally surrendered. The thing is, I don't want to get the massive truce with their allies as well. Okay, not fighting uh, Cleves anytime soon. So there's a full annexation on Trier. Perfect. Let's go ahead and spy on Lorraine immediately. The House of God. Nice. Ah, uh, we will have to fight Burgundy. Look at this. Okay, let's fight uh, Lorraine immediately here. Um... Pretty easy wars for now, boys. Just wrapping up the small guys. That's pretty much it. Let's do a reconquest for Erfurt right here, but I might actually get uh, Thuringia transferred over to me. We'll see how the AE looks like. Thuringia is just 16 AE? Bruh. Actually, they'll already accept, and I'm not really taking anything from Saxony now, so... The Lord's Army. Slow and steady wins the race, boys. Let's continue locking down our uh, western border right here. Second idea group time, obviously we gotta go with something mill related now. We already got the siege ability from espionage, so why not even go for more siege abilities? So many forts in the HRE, so yeah, offensive. We could go divine too, I guess, but nah. And that's another wrap. Yeah, Burgundy is uh, starting to be a problem. They're gonna expand to Gilray now too. Hopefully they don't take Cleef. Uh, Dutch is the funniest language, I, I swear. AE is actually pretty chill. Who the frick can I coalition? Bavaria? There's no real point, is there? You know, I keep forgetting about Frankfurt, dude. Uh... Obviously, as a clerical nation, lands for the church. Someone asked in the comments of the last video, like, how do you always have manpower? Don't you fight battles in your wars? And no. No, generally I don't. Generally what I do in my wars is, uh, this right here. Unless I'm fighting them myself. Right now I got, uh, Brandenburg, Thuringia, and the Pope doing stuff for me. So... No need to waste that manpower. And that's a wrap on Frankfurt. Very nice province. Sweet. Shout out France. You know, I was gonna go Protestant this campaign, but bruh, the fact that we're like a clerical state and we have such good relations with the Pope, we're just farming these bonuses right here. I actually don't think I'm gonna go Protestant. Okay, let's fight Colm. They've grown big enough. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. No. I'm gonna have to take so much from Poland later, dude. This is gonna suck. This is gonna absolutely suck. Yeah, Bohemia doesn't have strong allies, man. I did not like that one bit. Let's see if we can full annex Koln here so all four of these provinces is, is so little A, dude. I, I keep being scared, man, but there's uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, continuing to put this border on lock. We do need to get cleaves, so the border is pretty much gonna go like uh, this up to here, you know? Yeah, not the time to fight Burgundy. I guess the Burgundy succession didn't happen. Who the frick is the Drew? They're annexing all three of their junior partners. From Burgundy, just get, ooh, what happened with Marlene's? What? I'm gonna annex Thuringia now. Oh, I can coalition Burgundy now. That is something I'm gonna do. Yeah, Bohemia got absolutely busted here, bro. Ugh. Yeah, Poland's definitely our endgame boss, man. And uh, there's Thuringia annexed. We can take uh, this mission too. Great prestige. Whoop de whoop. Uh, let's go ahead and. Uh... It's already stated. Okay, now I got the vassalization acceptance here, and because the HRE actually doesn't exist, we might be able to vassalize some of these guys. No way. Working on getting a bunch of vassals now. Shout out France again. There's our first vassal. And our second one. 
Great, now we can actually go ahead and take this mission for... Let's save it. Let's save it when we annex someone and let's give the nobles uh, strong touches in the integration policy. Okay, so I've acquired uh, four subjects because uh, why not? Save us some wars, I guess. Let's fight um, Munster. Berg. We'll call belligerent Berg. Okay, very easy. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to continue immediately. Utrecht, maybe? Utrecht actually is going to be kind of annoying. Hmm. Oh, I don't have claims. Don't you guys just love it when the HRE gets dismantled and you see all of these, uh, you know, small guys blob out and stuff like that? I, I find it really fun. I'm going to use Oldenburg's claim on East Frisia here since Denmark won't help them. And we already have everything we need to form Westphalia, which I will do as soon as we hit uh, Anmontan. Yeah, we're done here. Not peacing out Hamburg, not fighting them anytime soon. Okay, so taking a look at Burgundy here, they don't really have strong allies. Venice, I guess, but I think me and France can take them on, man. Maybe someone else too. I don't know who else I can ally here, man. Let's go ahead and deal with the Palatinate. I'm just loving all these quick and easy wars. It's like warm up for later before we get to face the big guys. I think we are going to be barraging quite a lot later in the game. But then again, we can also go for the defensive stance. Then again, Westphalia doesn't have a defensive stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so we need three provinces from Burgundy. Strasbourg, Munster, and uh, Cleves. Thank God it's not Cleef anymore. Let's knock out, uh, who is this? Baden. We got a really nice siege modifiers, man. I'm loving how quick these wars are. I think I can annex some subjects. Okay, I annexed Donauwerth and Memmingen, and I vassalized Lusatia, working on vassalizing Goslar now as well. Uh, as soon as I do that, I'll declare on Utrecht, and then we can actually fight Austria for these five provinces here. Or six. Okay, these are the current subjects that I have right now. Let's annex Oldenburg because I think I can. Excellent. And now I'm also going to declare on Utrecht. Uh, this will break my lance with the... Well, I was going to say with the Pope, but I guess we're not even allied. Okay, done with uh, Utrecht here as well. That was located in uh, Dortmund, funnily enough. Okay, now we gotta fight Austria. Things have complicated themselves a little bit because they've allied Sweden and they're allied to Aragon. So this is gonna be a pretty big war, man. But I think me and France should be able to do it. They finally annexed their subject or lean, which is great. So I'm planning on taking all of these provinces right here. So this is our first big war, I guess, uh, for now. Let's declare for uh, Durlach right there. Right now I can see we're about a third of the way through with conquests. This is a big Lubeck though. <laughs> I guess we can get Admintech 10 here. We'll form Westphalia right after. What do we go with for a third idea group? Diplo, I kind of got enough diplomats and AE isn't really a problem. Influence, subjects are small, we don't care. What about court here? No, this actually sucks. We're not humanist. I don't, I know it's like counterintuitive for such a, you know, religiously focused nation, but why not chill a bit? Good thing Sweden got declared on by Muscovy so I could beast them out. What the hell happened? Where's Burgundy? Th that's not Burgundy. What? I'm coalitioning them though. So the Burgundian succession happened, uh, but it, Burgundy was right here. I guess they formed the Netherlands, man. Yeah, they did. This is probably one of the biggest AI Netherlands I've seen. Almost super clean borders, bro. If only they didn't have Munster. All right, Austria will give me this. So let's go ahead and uh, call it. Okay, cored everything up, integrated my subject Bayreuth, working on vassalizing Bremen, and now we can go ahead and form Westphalia. I am going to take new traditions and ambitions. Boom, there we go. Let's take a look at them. Plus one diplomat, plus 20% land force limit, plus 5% discipline as a finisher. Really needed. Idea discount, along with this one that we're going to get right here. Dev discount and state maintenance discount, manpower, promoted cultures, and cost of advisors with ruler's culture, tax, tolerance, and provincial trade power. Really, really good. And uh, uh, an okay-ish, you know, sort of unique missions yeah 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 we're still a clerical state of course nice nice finally uh, at least a little bit of claims bro i'm so tired of spying <laughs> and there's bremen too ah good we avoided fighting england with that uh where do we go now man you know magdeburg right here they're allied to the commonwealth bavaria they've got some strongish allies as well but we can take them down very easily since we'll need multiple wars versus these guys i will start spying on them but who do we go for now who's this kallenberg sure let's pop off the golden era too we can do a monument uh, it's just the Kong cathedral sure. there's kallenberg Okay, just got new burger loans. I actually haven't been getting uh, a lot of loans this campaign. We don't we don't really need them, so I started building courthouses. We're over GovCap, but let's go ahead and hit Lubeck. They're pretty big too. We will have to do multiple wars versus them as well. So let's just let's just declare for Braunschweig right here. I will clone France, not that we need them. A weird thing is we have a strong-ish Hungary this campaign, right? They are they're not allied to Austria or anyone else, but no one's really declared on them. Sure, they fought the Ottomans here, but they're sort of holding the line here. 
I think I jinxed Hungary. And there's the Protestant Reformation. Didn't even spawn in the HRE, dude. Let's, uh, let's do that. For some reason, I'm making a lot of money. I never noticed that. And look at how much we're spending on forts. <laughs> let's keep them around. Look, man, ideas already cost just 296 admin points. Why is it so cheap? Idea discount. Minus 15%. Oh, okay. Here we see the real modifiers. Okay, what do we do with Lubeck here? They are pretty big. Let's take a look at AE if I do this. That is that's actually quite a lot man it might slow us down a bit and i don't want to be slowed down what if we do something like this without their capital maybe yeah i'm only gonna go up to about 40 honestly apparently this is the piece of westphalia there's a vassalization on Wolgast. I'm trying to vassalize the Commonwealth allies here, and uh, pretty soon we'll uh, annex Ghostlore as well. Um, I think we can get Magdeburg too. All right, I had to break my alliance with Brandenburg in order to attempt to vassalize Magdeburg, but it's no big deal. Ghostlore has been annexed, and it's time for a tier six government form secularization question mark. We can of course flip to a monarchy, which could be good, man. Royal marriages and stuff like that, but even without the royal marriages, we're still vassalizing everyone. So I think we stay with the clerical estate Germany run here. Uh, we don't really need this. We're not gonna get to absolutism. Well, actually we might uh, But yeah, yeah, let's go for this right now It's gonna be a few years of peacetime while I vassalize and annex every vassal that I need to then we're gonna hit the Netherlands or Bavaria Not annexing Lusatia cuz they got some cores. You're kidding me. What would they accept? Trust? Well, there we go. I traded favors for trust. I actually had an estate agenda to vassalize Magdeburg I didn't even know dude the Ohm Minster. I'm just waiting for some wars to wrap up here so I can declare my own. But our uh, Germany is starting to take shape here, boys. Nice. You know, I'll actually go ahead and fight Hamburg while waiting these guys to finish it. Well, the Savoyard conquest of Saluzzo didn't go too well. <laughs> All right, even though we're still in this war, I am finally gonna go ahead and declare on the Netherlands. This is gonna be a pretty annoying war. Once again, uh, a big war, uh, something that I consider. Uh, let's let's call in France again. We're only going for one, two, three, four provinces here. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're enforcing peace on me. The Commonwealth demands that I white peace the Netherlands. No. All right, their army is pretty massive. I'll give them that, but I can run another stack just like I'm running right now. Now, it is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to recruit it. It's 2547, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and get it up and running. 2547. And I think I can knock out the Commonwealth pretty quickly here. Oh, I even got Miltech over them. Yeah, I actually just lost a battle. I'm going to put my amazing money-making abilities to even better use by going away the frick over Force Limit. Okay, little update. France, shout out my boy France, knocked out Tuscany and Venice, but they did suffer quite a lot. Uh, this is where I'm at right now. So a pretty tough war. I was planning on going full, you know, full sand versus the Commonwealth. Pretty much taking all of this from them, but I'm out of manpower too, dude. And I think we're going to have to cut our losses here. At least I can annex Hamburg now. Don't have the money to court. No, admin points, I mean. Scotland, how do we knock out Scotland? Is a white beast possible? Not yet, I don't think. We'll have to get crack on worse off first. Frick, I did not expect for this to go this way. Okay, got war ups from the Commonwealth. Let's go deal with the Netherlands. Uh, this is a very costly war, man. I'm really angry at the Netherlands. I kind of want to make them blow up, but uh, yeah, you got to know when to call it. So we, do, we need Burgons, right? Or we don't need Burgons? Hmm. I don't actually think we need Burgons. Or do we need Burgons? Let me take a look at that map again. No, we, we actually kind of don't need Burgons. So yeah, only thing I need is Strasbourg, Munster, and Cleef. Yeah. And like I said, boys, sorry if the borders are wrong, man, but that's just how I'm interpreting them based off of uh, Googling German Empire 1871. <laughs> but uh, this border is unlocked now. All right, let's fix our economy now. Oops, dude, my armies were absolutely obliterated. Oh, nice. Uh, Paderborn? All right, boys, I'm sick and tired of waiting around. We've kind of recovered a bit. France... France has recovered too, so let's declare on Bavaria right here, the conquest of Oberfalls. I'll call in France, and I think I'll annex Augsburg in this war too. This should be way easier than the last one. Commonwealth, if you enforce peace, I'm gonna rage quit. Okay, there's Augsburg out. A lot of AE, but uh, I'm tired of waiting, boys. Ah, I actually really gotta chill here. AE is becoming a problem, even though there's so few nations left. So let's do half of these guys now. Actually, wait, no. I don't need Salzburg or in Bayern. Yeah, this is the only thing I need. Do we pull annex them and just end our wars with Bavaria once and for all? I think yes. Do we have enough admin points to core it up? I think no. Oh. 
Bruh, France has insulted me. I thought you liked me, my boy. And I have been coalition, by the way, mostly by these southern guys. The Netherlands and the Commonwealth can join too. All right, but let's get real here, boys. Let's not make this fall apart in the final moments. So all we need right here is to fight Ingolstadt for these two provinces, annex our subject Magdeburg. Then we got Dithmarchen, which maybe we can vassalize, honestly. And a couple of provinces from Lubeck up here. Wolgast is a subject, then Brandenburg. And then yeah, we pretty much have this right here left to go. We have to fight the Commonwealth for so much provinces, bro. Yeah, the Commonwealth joined too. How do we get around this? I guess we declare on Lubeck and Brandenburg and Dithmarschen right away. Yeah, yeah, everyone coalitioned me. I mean, it's not like we don't have time. We definitely have time. Yeah, there's literally no one I can fight right now that I need to fight, so I'm going to chill for a very long time. Okay, Luca and Tuscany have left the coalition already, so this might be good news. Annex Magdeburg and uh, helping France out in this. Okay, I think things are starting to calm down. Lubeck has left, so these guys should leave pretty quickly. But the thing is, as soon as I fight one of these guys, the coalition will reform. And I don't really have a way of truce juggling here because, well, I don't have a truce with any of these guys. I'm going to take divine nobility here, right? Or no? Some Serbian bureaucrats? No. I've gotten some more allies. I'm getting really impatient here, man. Ah, uh, uh, can't be done like that. Ah, the Council of Trent. Well, we'll go conciliatory for the improved relations. So this is what I want from Lubeck, and I can get everything. I didn't even know Wolgast, my boy, had cores on them. Oh. We can peace out here. It's not like a new coalitional form. It's still the same guys that are already in it, so... Ugh, we're done with that. We can annex Wolgast now. Oh, and we can become a... a an empire? A patriarchy. I don't think I've ever been this government reform as a Catholic nation, but this is, like, pretty much an empire, right? Yeah. All right, let's be real here. How many nations do we have to left to fight? It's Dithmarchen, Brandenburg, Ingolstadt, and the Commonwealth. So Brandenburg, Dithmarchen, and Ingolstadt, I can dig down one war. And then for the Commonwealth, two to four wars, honestly. I've had bad rulers this entire campaign, man. Actually, this might be handy versus the Commonwealth. Finally, some good news. diplo on on uh, Dithmarchen. Okay, we are in this war versus the Netherlands. Britain called me in to help versus Scotland. No big deal. I'm working on vassalizing Ingolstadt, which I will be able to do right after this war ends. And the coalition has finally freaking disbanded, dude. Okay, so we won't have to fight Ingolstadt or Dithmarchen. I think we just wrap it up with... Uh, their ally to the Commonwealth. Yeah, these guys will never accept because we got their cores. Yeah, I think we gotta declare on the Commonwealth that... They're allied? Anyway, for my fourth idea group, I'll go quantity. What the actual frick is Britain doing, dude? These guys are actually brain dead. Again? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, France will accept this, so they're no longer allied to the Commonwealth. Can I fight these guys by myself? 150k, huh? I have about 150k. Let's see Miltec. Let's say Miltec. They got quality though. And Aristo? Oh, dude, their cab armies are gonna be insane. Oh, I can vassalize Ingolstadt. Okay, so either way, no one would help me fight the Commonwealth. So what I'm going to do right here is actually get the independent and uh, free companies up again. Let's give these guys some generals as well. And I think I'll go ahead and declare by myself on the Commonwealth for the conquest of uh, Desawa, whatever that is. Yeah, these guys should be pretty easy to white piece, actually. Castile came in as well. This could be good. War is actually going great. They're already out of manpower, and the Ottomans have also declared on them. This is sick. Look, I can't even, you know, <laughs> section off that part that I want. I need uh, these two provinces as well for that. Yeah, man, this is a lot of war score, yo. A lot of AE2. I don't know. I guess we're not going to do it like that. I guess I take this, give this back to Lusatia. Go with this for now. Mm, nah, can't even do that. Yeah, it's probably going to be something like this in our first war, if we can get 100 war score versus them. <laughs> Your eight cover form time? Yeah, the Commonwealth's done, bro. Shout out the Ottomans, even though they rivaled me. Uh, let's take everything I said I would take. That's pretty much as much as we can do right now. Excellent. So in our next war, hopefully we can take this and then this. I doubt it, though. They're so expensive. High def provinces. Very high def. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and core this up. And then as soon as our truce with Brandenburg is up, we'll fight them. And then it's just one more war versus the Commonwealth. And in the meantime, we can annex Dithmarschen and Ingolstadt. Oh, we have Ching this campaign. You don't see that too often. Nice. What else do we have? Okay, big-ish Kilwa, I guess. Um, 
Everything else seems to be pretty standard. Weird Bordugal with Aragon here. Tuscany, I guess. That's pretty common. Yeah. Persia. Let's annex Lusatia too. Truce with Brandenburg is up, so let's declare on them. They're only allied to Galicia, Volhynia, which I guess the Ottomans made the Commonwealth pop them up. Doesn't matter too much. And this is probably our second to last war or our second to second to last war. I can't believe I've had the annexed subjects thingy this whole time, bro. Did I not give out uh, strong duchies and the integration policy? When did those go away? I, see, I didn't notice if you give out uh, the integration policy even after you've annexed the subject, the thing goes away. Okay, we're done here. I couldn't even walk to Galicia, Volhynia, but uh, there's Brandenburg wrapped up and Lusatia annexed. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and annex Ingolstadt as well, which is our final subject and the final two provinces that we need over here. And then it's just uh, these few provinces over here from uh, Poland. Choose with Poland is going to be up in like eight years, so we do have to chill quite a bit. Hey, this is something real good. Um, I'll ally the Ottomans. And there we go, the final subject has been annexed as well. Borders are starting to take shape as we can see. Uh, yeah. Truce with the Commonwealth is up, and, uh, let's see, uh, Great Britain and France would help me, but they've allied Austria, Aragon, the Pope, uh, the Netherlands, so I'm gonna wait to see if the Ottomans come in. I don't think they will, though, they're in quite a bit of debt and they're fighting another war. Yeah, there's actually no point in waiting around. Okay, let's declare for, uh, I don't know, that right there. Call in these two boys right there. Call in Castile earlier. There's the Ottomans too. Now let me check some. Let me check some. No, no, no. Oh, I'll still be missing four provinces like this. All right, I have a different plan for these guys. You'll see it soon enough. All right, so I'm going to peace out, take this, make them end their alliance with the Netherlands. Boom, that's done. Now, uh, I think as soon as I core this up, I'm probably going to choose break these guys. I'm like, can you just die already? The thing is, I want to core these up before I fight the Commonwealth again, because if I fight them now, these will stop coring. And then when I finish the war, I'll be over 100 over extension. It's just, oh, there goes the Ottoman Alliance for some reason. Actually about time. I just wonder why they valued each other, you know? Break it. I'm truce breaking the Commonwealth. I've barraged literally every single fort in existence, but oh, it's finally enough. We can finally get all the provinces that we need. Only took about a hundred and, uh, what's that, 70 years? Yeah, I'm happy with that. <clears throat> oh, hell no. We've actually gotten to the point where we're losing money. We actually did get to the age of absolutism. But now that we have gotten every province that we need, according to me and according to looking at a map and comparing it to EU4, of course, the provinces aren't one to one, but I do think it looks pretty accurate. And that's exactly what we were going for. Looks and not any, you know, specific provinces. But after that, after we've gotten every single province that we need, this challenge is over and it is a success. Like I said at the start of the video, we don't have to wait for Admin Tech 20 to just click this button right here because, uh, well, we've already gotten everything that we need. So why wait? and click the button where I could just call it short and record another video for you guys. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Mainz, a bishop elector over in the HRE, and I decided for today's goal to form or, well, to conquer the provinces of the German Empire at its, uh, whatever, 1871 or whatever uh, map I googled. And why Mainz? Well, why not? What other nation would we do it with? Started off as Mainz, started off expanding slowly in these couple of provinces around us, and we did manage to dismantle the HRE very early thanks to our uh, ally electors and thanks to of France, of course. We beat up Austria, occupied Vienna, dismantled the HRE, and after that it was pretty much smooth sailing all around. Uh, let me state this. Let me full state this. There we go. After that, it was smooth sailing pretty much all around. Not too much aggressive expansion. Pretty rapid expansion. Cleaning up the, you know, small guys before we got to the big guys. Only got into that major coalition once where I had to chill, so you know, they wouldn't declare on me, but the thing is I couldn't declare on them either. Luckily, after that, the coalition disbanded. It's still pretty bad AE-wise with a couple of these guys right now, but overall, a super, super fun game campaign man everything started to snowball after we dismantled the hre making massive amounts of income and stuff like that huge armies went espionage and i do think we needed it quite a lot for this campaign honestly in order to wrap it up quickly without espionage i feel like we would have done this uh, around 1650 1660 something like that so definitely very much needed espionage offensive humanist quantity build a ton of buildings everywhere look at all the marketplaces look at all the production buildings bunch of manufacturers as well courthouses literally almost everywhere a bunch of churches and army buildings as well got to this government reform right here tier 8 almost at tier 9 super super successful remained a clerical state for the entirety of the campaign by the way we're a patriarchate right here as we can see a german cultured empire we can promote silesian as well not enough dev in a danish culture province 
not accepted so that's why i'm converting it but agriculture accepted man everything is super super smooth number six on the great powers list we would be number two if i had embraced global trade it just hasn't spread enough or actually it has so let's go ahead and uh do a little bit of that right there so we can go ahead and uh, embrace global trade and pop out on the right spot on the great powers list number two on the great powers list actually nice very nice i like that a lot so overall a super fun campaign man i did think it would take a little longer than this to form you know to get these borders right here but i am super super satisfied 1612 is what it took unfortunately you know we didn't get to click this button right here but like i said we don't really need to click this button when the borders is more of what i was going for rather than simply clicking this button so no need to wait for admin tech 20 overall a super fun campaign i know you guys have been loving the big goals that we've been doing lately you know such as the Russia one or the Mushasha one or the Zimbabwe one. So uh, here's another one over in Europe, over in Germany. Very, very fun. And I'm excited after I do a couple of more chill A to Z campaigns to do another big goal like this. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Mines in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Mines in A to Z. And of course, don't forget to check out War Thunder at the link in the description. You can play for free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. And if you're a new player or haven't played for six months by using my link, you can claim a large bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles, and much, much more. Available for a limited time only. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.